Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Ari Jane Parker and I does what I can when I can. Nah, 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 nah. My name is Ari Jane Parker and I like playing in makeup. <laughs> it's giving very much Corbin Blue vibes. Welcome to Disney Channel. No, it's a no, it's a no, it's a no. What it do folks, it's Ari. No, 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 no. It's giving very much ghetto. <laughs> I heard you bitches was looking for me, bitch. Here I go. I was just playing. My name is Ari. Welcome back to my channel. Um, for anybody that is new, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. For all of my old people, I know you guys have been looking for me. I bet you wonder where I've been. Gotta think for you. And I won't let go. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into some makeup because I know y'all don't like long videos, but... We want to do this. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So I'm bringing you guys in because I need you guys to be able to see what the hell is actually going on. Um, I am using, what is this? This is the number seven lift and luminate thing right here. And I just use this as a moisturizer on my skin. So for the last seven days, I have been in quarantine with my children. Um, they were exposed to COVID and because of that the daycare had to shut down and they made us go into quarantine oh lord if ever there was a time that i really wanted to drop my kids off at the fire station it would be now like being at home with kids is like super super difficult um but i'm gonna be using uh the nk dark brown pencil i think this is no i'm sorry brown black pencil to fill in my brows as you guys can see i just picked it up from the beauty supply store today so hopefully it's given what it's supposed to give. Of course, kids carry like all of the germs. Okay, like I say this like all of the time. If you guys have never seen the movie Outbreak, where there's like a monkey and he coughs in the other guy's mouth and then this virus gets transmitted and stuff, I feel like kids are freaking outbreak monkeys because it's like, what the hell? I wasn't even upset when they told me that the daycare was closing for quarantine because honestly like I'm really surprised that it didn't happen sooner. Having kids like not even joking sometimes it's like super tough to have children like it really is. Sometimes I just want to give them back and I'm not even asking for a refund or a return or an exchange like I don't want none of that. I just want to give them back you take them it's okay I don't, I don't want my money back I just I want to be done. I want to be done this concealer that i'm using this is deep olive by elf um and i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna clean up my brows i am using a flat brush to do this and i have to stay focused on this part because y'all know my brows i'm gonna take a little bit of my can't stop won't stop if y'all want to hear me brag about this give me a second i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna let y'all know because this is my shit um but i'm gonna just take a little bit right here on the back of my hands i like to work off the back of my hands now because it's just easier so i just take a little bit same brush and just kind of you know getting it off get enough on your brush and then i go at the top and i just clean them up Luckily, um, I've had the opportunity to work from home during this little quarantine process. So that's been really, really amazing. I'm actually blessed to be able to work from home. So when they get sick and stuff, I can still, you know, get my work done. Working from home and having two kids has been like over stressful. I don't see how parents do it every day. Like I had the option to work full time from home. And I was like, absolutely damn not. There's no way because I can't stay focused. They yelling, they eating everything that's in the house. They just getting on my nerves. Every time there's a holiday or school is out for winter break or some shit, like I always get freaking sad because it's like, you want me to deal with my own kids? Like for 24 hours out the day, like I can't handle it. I need a fucking break. Like it's not for me. This is not the life. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the eyeshadow primer. I use this all the time. It's my favorite. My kids are at the stage like 
where they bicker and stuff like i thought terrible twos are gonna be bad my terrible twos are not bad at all because like they were barely talking at that stage and i'm okay with kids that don't talk for most of my life i would probably say like 60 percent of my life i was the only child so like i really really do enjoy silence and they just constantly argue over stupid stuff and then they're at that stage where like oh i must wipe this in my pants and i forgot i was dressed child i'm actually dressed under here yeah i have on a little romper thing so yeah um but i they're at the stage where they eat me out of house and home my grandma used to say that all the time and i never knew what the hell she meant by that but now i totally understand when she said that y'all used to eat me out of a house and home because baby these children eat me out of house and home i'm tired of it no i've been in the house all week so today unfortunately i'm gonna just vent to y'all about what the hell is going on in my life since i don't have anybody else to talk to so it's it's coming out to you guys okay and guess what you're gonna sit there and you're gonna listen and you're gonna like it so i'm gonna go in with this juvia's place palette this is the wahala 2 palette thank god i did all my errands this morning because it is pouring down like i literally just got back in the house maybe like 30 minutes ago probably go to sleep try to go get me some eggs later i don't need no <laughs> I'm just playing, but um, yeah, we're gonna pack that brown into our crease. Um, there's a dark brown in there, y'all. I'm not about to point it out, okay? I just told you a palette I'm using. Get with it or get lost. I intentionally went to the grocery store like Sunday. Um, I go every weekend, but I made sure like when I went, my intentions were to pick up food because I know we was gonna be at home. So I wanted to make sure we had enough, right? Like when I tell y'all, I went in there and they always say it ain't no food. Like kids love saying it ain't no food. Lord, that sound like my mama. If you guys are new here, I do have a set of twins. I have one boy, one girl, and they are eight. In case y'all are wondering, like, who the hell is she talking about? I'm talking about my kids. Like they just got. Anyway, my kids have like a really bad habit of psyching me out um, because my memory is like really bad. Like, and it ain't even that I choose to forget um it's just like my memory like if it's not memorable to me like i won't remember it like in certain stuff i don't harp on like people tell me their secrets and shit i'm probably gonna forget that in like a minute or two because to me it's just not really something i should remember um so i think that's why people be telling me shit too people tell me everything and i just be like sometimes i didn't i didn't want to know when we be fucking up my mental but Anyway, back to these kids. They be psyching me out. I think they play on the fact that they know my memory is bad. And so they'll tag team me. One kid will come in and be like, hey, mom, can I have a snack? And I'll say no. And then like 10 minutes later, the other child will come. And because I'm so focused on work or doing whatever I'm doing, I didn't totally forgot that I told the first child no. So then I'll tell the second kid yes. And so both of them get snacks after that. Like it's just it's a lot it, it kind of reminds me of the the times where i would literally forget which kid i fed in the beginning like when they were first born i would forget but look at us we made it eight years later they still alive amen so to smoke this out a little bit i'm gonna use this one y'all can tell this one's like my favorite because look i done hit pen this is from juvia's this is the bronzer but i'm gonna use it just to kind of smoke out my edges a little bit because right now they are really really harsh and so i'm just gonna use like a little fluffy brush to just go in and just blend that out and i'm gonna bring that all the way into like that inner corner too it's raining like so bad i had like real intentions of going out and getting me some ass today like <laughs> butter that is wasted in case y'all don't know y'all new here i have like a, a current slash x slash present slash past boyfriend not boyfriend type situation y'all it's complicated i told y'all my life is really complicated and i felt like jesus was like look if anybody can handle complicated it's ari so just give it to ari like i can't but here we are anyway back to these kids so all day they would flop back and forth right and i did not catch on like i said i'm working i'm trying to stay focused and do what i do but all day did y'all hear that thunder is loud um but all day they would just go back and forth to oh my goodness do i need to turn off my lights because it's thunder and my granny used to tell me turn off your lights because it's thunder and jesus please don't let the lights go out but anyway all day they would go back and forth um asking me for snacks before i would realize like wait a minute didn't i just 
give y'all snacks didn't y'all just have a snack and they so good at lying and i can't tell who lying who not lying i don't be knowing and lord it's it's really hard okay because they be defending each other they be like no it wasn't me it wasn't me to the to the point where i just be like you know what just just forget it because i don't want to keep dealing with this okay like i'm tired i'm i'm on a mental break right now like i just anyway before I knew it, all the snacks was damn gone and I'm pissed because like literally I bought them like a 40 pack of Rice Krispie Treats and like maybe a 60 pack of fruit roll ups and, and fruit punches things. Y'all know the juice pops and everything. Here it is Friday and I bought that on Sunday. Here it is Friday, all of that shit's gone. Like how? Because my edges is dark but they not like dark enough. I'm gonna go in with like a little bit more um, black why well, didn't go in with black before but i'm gonna go in black now so i'm gonna use like just a little bit right here i just i don't know i like that so i just put like a little bit in that little corner right there and then i'm gonna show y'all how i get that blended so i pack it in basically over chill like so like did like so like this pack it in and then i'm gonna take that brown the dark brown that we use and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna blend it out so just a blend blend blendy blend okay and that will soften up the blackness okay so it ain't doing like too much but it's still doing like enough okay hold on hold on it's not quiet bitch on me okay so i'm gonna use a little bit of the anastasia primer to now cut my crease because that's just what i do but what was I saying? Oh, I haven't gotten any sleep since like they were born, which is why I'm always sleep. People be like, oh my goodness, why you always sleep? You gotta sleep your life that way. It's just everything gonna be sleep. Let me tell you something. Like when you have twins, like, okay, y'all have to understand this was my first kids. These are my first kids. Okay, I had one pregnancy, boom, I got two kids. Like it's it's very, very difficult trying to trying to sleep with two kids shit and it was my first go around i was doing it by myself because my mama she had my younger brother when i was 18 and you know i was smelling myself at that age and she used to always ask me for help with him and i used to be like that ain't my goddamn kid <laughs> now so when i had my kids she was like that ain't my kids like she ain't really want to help me because i didn't help her so that was karma you know I'm not mad at that but i'm just saying like because of that and they were on opposite schedules so i had my boy who was sleep during the day and my girl was sleep at night no i'm sorry the boy was sleep at night the girl was sleep during the day so they were on opposite schedules so i was always up like just tired i remember just crying like i would just be broke <laughs> please help me like somebody save me like it was just that traumatic for me so when people be like do you want to have more kids it's the answer is always going to be hell to the no because it was it, it was just so difficult doing it by myself okay so now we're gonna go back into that deep brown and we're gonna dip our fluffy brush again and we're gonna blend all of this out one of the cons of being a freaking virgo is that i like my mind never stops even on days where i should be relaxed like i'm not relaxed you know like i'm constantly always being like there is something that I could be doing there's something that I need to do whether it's recording for YouTube which I know I have not recorded in a while give me some grace on that um, but whether it's recording for YouTube or I need to go and get them something or I need to schedule a doctor's appointment something like even on my days off I can never just seem to like turn off my mind and just chill for a second and I think that is probably it's a pro and it's a con but I don't have days where like I'm just fully relaxed so you pair that with having two kids too lord my mind is always going all the damn time and then i try to make sure that i have enough time to spend with them because you don't want them to you know feel neglected or or left out in any type of way so another perk to having children i've had a severe toothache for like the last week and i can't even get the repair work done because again having children you know they got freaking two thousand dollars worth of work that needs to be done so it's like a lot of sacrifices that come with being a parent and that's why i don't understand why people just be willy-nilly having children and they don't be rich they they don't be none of that they just be like fuck it i'm gonna pop out another kid like 
no way no way i'm gonna use that cream that is in here it's a cream or like a orange like a light orange color it's like this it looks like that um but i'm gonna use this and i'm gonna apply that right there to the inner lid i always tell people i'm like there is definitely a difference between being a real parent and a part-time parent okay like there is such a freaking difference with that shout out to all the real parents because we up in this thing we not we don't know how we making it we don't know how the hell we're living day to day but bitch we are okay so shout out to us give us the fucking pat on the back because we deserve it a lot of y'all like oh my goodness what's a part-time parent a part-time parent in my book and this is not to say it's true but i just feel like that's a part-time parent People who be dropping their kids off every weekend to their grandmother's house and, you know, you still going out and you partying, you still going on your little dates and stuff like that. Not bashing you if you go out because you should totally have time for yourself. You should still make time for yourself. But I'm just saying, if you're doing this shit every fucking weekend, you are not a real fucking parent. You are a part-time parent. Well, I mean, let's just not say real because you're still a real parent. But let's say part-time parent versus full-time parent okay that's a part-time parent part-time parents have a lot of um support a lot of help from others you know so in they mind they be really really excited to have more kids they be like yes i want another baby because you're not fully being a fucking parent that's why you want another kid is because you don't fully grasp of how needy and annoying sometimes they are i love a shout out my kids don't ever get this wrong i'm just ranting right now love them don't like them sometimes i'm gonna go back in with this color just add a little bit more brown over here to the outer corner just adding a little bit of brown and then i'm gonna blend one more time on the edge just kind of lightly tapping that in there like so and then i'm gonna blend that one more time bring it in bring it around town not too much and just not like going crazy but you just want to fluff it in there to make sure holy shit um to make sure that it's blended okay now i'm gonna prime my face this is the rare beauty they still did not send me um a new one not saying like i'm begging for it or anything like that but they straight up freaking lied because when i received the original rare beauty it was um basically damaged and leaking everywhere so they apologized i was like well we'll send you some more they ain't send nathan i'm going in with the photo finish um this is by smashbox and i'm going to apply this to just kind of blur my pores a little bit especially on my nose because they get real real defined and real ghetto i feel like real parents don't want more kids until they settle down with somebody and they understand that the burden will not be completely on them like i said we do a lot of sacrificing um i'm gonna stop saying real parents my bad full-time parents okay so full-time parents just be like no i don't want more kids because it's too much full-time parents is the ones that when they leave for work and they go to work when they at work they don't want to talk about their kids they do not want to talk about their kids because it be stress okay full-time parents like every time you turn around your kid is in your face they looking at you you looking at them you just sitting there looking at each other all day like it's just it's too much my friends always be laughing at me because it's like they be texting me sometimes when i'm at work they be like hey how the kids doing like ma'am do not ask me about them children between eight and five okay they are invisible to me i am trying to live my best life don't like that shit even when i go on dates don't don't talk to me about them do not when i'm at a function don't talk to me about them right now because they stress my life out and i am i'm trying to decompress okay so i'm trying to forget about all of that and you over here want to bring them up how are they why didn't you bring them Bitch, because I don't want to. Shit, because I'm with on 24 damn 7. I'm tired. I'm over it. I'm over it. This is the LA Girl uh, Pro Conceals in the shade Orange. And I am just um, color correcting. Not using a lot. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Uh, to color correct under my eyes and around my mouth area. And yeah, anywhere that you have dark spots. Do y'all remember that dark spot that was like right here a couple weeks ago? I'm telling y'all, using toner will fade the dark spots use toner every single day after you wash your face i don't know where all my sponges is so i'm gonna just use this but i think reality just really depends on 
how much do you have your damn kids? You know, like I don't have that support system. So I think parenting is so much more difficult for me. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't trade it for anything, but do I plan on having some more? Hell no. So now to just kind of brighten up my under eyes just a little bit before I put on my uh, foundation, I'm gonna go in. This is a brightener and I'm just gonna brighten this up in the areas that I want it to be just a little bit brighter. Um, and this is the Instant Age Rewind. It's in the shade Brighter. <laughs> That's the shade of it. So I'm just gonna use that to brighten the under eye. Okay, so now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go in with just some setting powder and I'm going to set under my eyes. I'm gonna set all of that powder down so it doesn't move before I put on my foundation and my concealer. So just set that in place. And then we're gonna put on our foundation. Okay, now I'm going in with the NYX, NYX, whatever it's called. The Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This is in the shade Mocha. As you guys know, if you guys saw my Instagram post yesterday, this is like my favorite because it doesn't even take a lot. I've applied it to the back of my hand just to kind of warm it up a little bit. And then um, I'm just blending that out with a brush. I know kids are sick of us too. As parents, I know they are tired of us just as much as we tired of them. So this one time, this one time at band camp, <laughs> I tried to like scare my son and tell him I was going to drop him off at the police station. Do you know once we got to the police station, he got out the car smiling, grabbed his backpack and walked up the stairs. I had to be like, get sure it's back in this goddamn car. I lost that battle, y'all. I totally lost that battle as a parent. Listen, it is nothing that you can tell me about this foundation because it ain't even all the way dry. And it's just, it's giving what it was supposed to give, okay? It's nothing that you could tell me negative about it. This is the Deep Olive and I'm just applying a little bit. Oh my goodness, did I tell y'all that I ordered the NARS and the Laura Mercier? I'm excited. Can't wait for that to arrive. It should be here by next Wednesday. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And yeah, if it's not everything that they say it's supposed to be, it's going back to the stock. I'm gonna take my little brush here and I'm going to blend all of this out, making sure that I look up. I prefer to look up when I do mine because I think in my mental, in my mind, it helps to um, blend out those what do you call that those wrinkles and i have to work fast i probably should have done the uh the elf concealer last like i should have did my contour first and then done the elf concealer because baby even though i got the hydrating one it still dries out pretty quick so i probably should have done that last i like using a brush compared to like a sponge me and sponges just don't get along i feel like they're just kind of blotchy sometimes or they pick up like too much product i just don't freaking like them and it might be because i'm a little heavy-handed <laughs> i'm heavy-handed for contour i thought i was recording but i wasn't um i'm using what do you call that this is the black radiance it's in the shade i believe espresso yeah espresso and then i'm also using the kylie cosmetics because it is just a smidget darker um just to kind of carve out my cheekbones and this is in the shade Coco and I'm using a brush to just kind of apply that the Kylie one so the Kylie one gets applied with like a little bit of a brush and then I'll go in and blend it out in a second and then on my nose because I like a little bit lighter on the nose I did use the stick foundation um, by black radiance once I, I said it again we go i use this one and this one is in the shade i think espresso if i'm not mistaken it's espresso if it's not espresso then it's the one that is like slightly above it so like espresso would be like the darkest shade this one is the one that's like one shade above that hopefully that makes sense i don't know um but then i'm gonna go in i'm gonna blend all of this out as you guys can see like i said the kylie which is down here is just slightly like just a little bit darker than um the espresso so that's why i use that one just to kind of carve out my cheeks a little bit can i get a piece of your love y'all have been on tiktok like crazy the shit you see on freaking 
TikTok is redonkulous. Like these people be on here telling their whole lives. Like I'm not upset because I do be needing a little bit of entertainment. So I'm not mad at that at all. But I'm like, ma'am, you do realize that this is gonna go viral. Like over a million people have seen this. Is this? Sh are you sure? This is the life that you want at this point. I love how those two colors just kind of mesh into one because it provides like this little bronzy look that I like. Like I like a good bronze, but for whatever reason previously, I couldn't get it. Look at me talking about for whatever reason. Girl, you wasn't doing it right. The hell, that's the reason. Okay, so to get this nose together, I've been using like this little flat brush right here. Brush, so country using like this little flat brush and I've been going in and just blending this out and just making sure that oh my goodness I realize y'all can't see I'm sorry hopefully y'all can kind of see what I'm doing though but just making sure that my brush stays straight because the straighter it is the um the straighter your contour is going to be Okay, so what do you guys think about the baby? What do you guys think? I have mixed opinions about it, but I would love to know how y'all feel about it. I'm going to go in with one more coat of concealer under my eyes before I set. Um, just a little bit. What I've been noticing lately is less is definitely more. So when it comes to like the baby situation, like okay. I understand why we canceling him i totally get that totally appreciate that get it on another hand like i don't like to see black men or black people in general just receiving as much backlash as they do sometimes i feel like we're held to a different standard by being black um so the other races can do something that is a little similar and their repercussions aren't as hefty as they are for us if that makes sense like not defending what he did it was totally wrong i didn't like the way that he brought tori out on stage um with meg like it was just it was all around disrespectful do i feel like it could have gone a different way and maybe people would have been more receptive to um teaching him and maybe just helping him understand why what he said was wrong yes but i feel like he just the cockiness is what got him in trouble trying to be too fucking cocky and being such a hard boy and i'm a thug and all this other shit that's i think that caused a greater backlash i think he should have just shut up or apologized for what he did and just let it go i think people would have been more receptive to that versus what he he did like he apologized and he took it back then he's like fuck y'all i ain't say that like it was just it was a lot like sir just pick a side and stater for my setting powder i'm going to be using the maybelline this is in the shade 30 i think it's medium deep let me take a look yeah medium deep fit me i'm just going to use that i kind of teeter totter sometimes i'll use the banana sometimes i won't but here lately this has been my favorite and i just start out with like a little bit and then just build it up so don't go in for the kill i feel like with me starting with a little bit it's just um easier to blend in to the um concealer okay so to deepen up my cheeks i'm gonna go in and i'm going to use um the maybelline so just to set those not deepen i'm sorry but to set i'm just gonna go in and make sure that it's set and this is just a blending motion i'm gonna use the one at the top too but right after i get these under under carriage together i can't see y'all so i'm always looking into like mirrors which is probably blocking your view so i'm sorry um but it's just what it what's need to be done it has to be done so i'm gonna take um this color now and i'm going to just kind of sweep this right here on top to make sure there's a nice little blend so it's not too harsh but I'm making sure that I only apply it like upwards to make sure that the face is lifted I'm gonna go in now with the same Maybelline but this one is in the shade 20 it's a little bit lighter 
but I'm going to use this to lightly bake under my eyes just kind of give them more of a pop but I've been watching the uh, Raisin Canaan and the show is mm, it's okay it's not bad but I feel like like a couple of days ago he came at one of his um, actresses because he compared her to Taraji or whatever I think 50 is one of those people who genuinely believes that all press is good press like he don't give a shit like if it's positive or if it's negative and sometimes that bothers me about him because the man is a fucking genius like as far as like any rapper besides Dre like tripling their freaking um worth 50 has done it but he just I just hate the way he he's a fucking troll let's just say that like he's such a freaking troll but the man is freaking genius when it comes to marketing and getting his shows out the way like he's created multiple tv shows and they've been good like surprisingly the Tariq show was actually pretty good too but he just he does too much for me like I don't know how to explain it like he's so talented he's so smart I just wish he would just chill the fuck out I used to have a major crush on 50 back in the day like major i went to his first concert that was a, that was the first concert i've ever been to was a 50 concert i used to write him letters i used to um i was probably like 10 telling him to tell my stepson marquise hey and i'm gonna be a good mom like just really really tripping okay tripping so for my blush lately because i'm too lazy to go to the store and actually get orange blush i've been using this little orange color and i've been mixing it with my opv uh blush which you guys know i'm obsessed with um this one as well so i've been kind of dipping back and forth and then just applying the blush so i start out with the orange right and then just kind of dip off into the pink and then i'm gonna show you if i can kind of show you a little bit but then i just apply it i start out in the back because i want most of the product back there and then kind of swoop around to the front if that makes sense start out light and then you can build up as much as you want but like if you go in heavy it's kind of hard to correct that okay i'm going in and i'm blending out all of my setting powder that i use to bake and for the most part this look is actually done if you've made it here make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe i'm just going to do my lashes and um my lipstick which i can show you guys i don't know because i went to the store today and i got like a um a brown pencil so i'm like hoping that it works because sometimes it don't but i'm hoping and praying that it works and i'm just making sure that i'm like blending out over here too to make sure like it's not harsh over there you know what i'm saying like it's just a nice okay let's apply these lashes these lashes is this old i've been using them for about maybe about six seven weeks and some change because i just don't feel like getting no new ones besides i like my lashes to look i don't know how to explain it i just like them when they look used or old like when they're older i feel like they just lay so much better and these are like super old like i told y'all i've been wearing them for a while but I just like them this is like my favorite pair so and I believe this one is the winks yeah it's winks all I did was just add some more mascara to it so that's why it looks uber thick I'll show you guys how to do it in the end but I just go over the top of them with um, mascara and that's it I've already done my bottom lashes I use the mascara that I use is the uh, great lash mascara I love this one um i had the better than sex and to me it's nothing really that's just my personal opinion but there's nothing like really special about um the better than sex one like the better than sex was just to me it was similar to this like there was nothing like i didn't get uber long lashes like just nothing to write home about i would just save and i got the mini so good thing I didn't purchase like the big one, but I would just save your money. Trick that always helps me to blend my lashes um, is just to go over top of them with some black liner. And that'll help kind of camouflage your lash band. Be careful because I didn't put on like any liner on my top 
lids prior to this so but if like you're doing like a thick um what do you call it like a thick wing liner then you could totally just you know pack on the liner and not give a shit but because i didn't i want to do like a very thin layer and i'm really focusing on hopefully you guys can see okay but i'm really focusing on just kind of touching the top of the band that is like what I'm really really focused on just to make sure that any old glue that's on them is kind of camouflage and now I'm gonna go in with a little small brush and this is the Glodiant palette and I like to use like this little brown in there because it's not like too much but it gives me a good little amount of shimmer and I just apply it right there to the tip as well as in here and that's it and that will create enough glow on the nose to make it appear like it's slimmer than what it actually is so I went to uh, the beauty supply store the same place where I got the eyebrow stuff I am now this is still the eyebrow thing but I'm gonna use it on my lips um, and this is just a brown pencil by NK um, NK makeup, you know, so I'm gonna just line them. Let me make sure y'all can see. I'm gonna line my lips. I like to overline just a smidget, not a lot, and just fill that portion in. Loosen it up a little bit today to see. Um, let's go in with our lipstick. I need to find which lipstick I'm going to use today. I'm going to use Nude Embrace because like, my hand is right here and it was just, you know, within reach. So I'm going to apply it. Okay, let's go in with the Anastasia because it's like right here within arm reach. And this is in the shade Toffee. And I'm just going to. I'm just going to apply this right here to the center for whatever reason oh y'all couldn't see that but for whatever reason I can't seem to just not do a gloss it's just in my DNA glosses run the world to lighten this up I'm gonna go in with that brightener that we just um, we used at the very beginning of the video under our eyes I'm gonna take a little bit on a brush and just apply that right there to the center. I like to do this last because I feel like the gloss kind of absorbs it a little bit and it just makes it look better. If you guys have never tried concealer on your lips, I know it's weird. I know it's like not the norm and people are always like, ew, that's nasty. But let me tell y'all something, it comes out A1 since day one, okay? Don't need a lot, just like a little bit. And I'm just going to blend that in. All right, guys. So here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.